folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist with Camping World, and today we're going to go over the 2018 Keystone Bullet 243BHS. This is a great lightweight bunk model. You have the double over double rear bunks with a slide out U dinette. Let's actually start off right over here on the kitchen though. So one of the things you'll notice is the huge countertop space we have here. Now they were able to do this by utilizing both the sink top cover as well as the cooktop cover here so this whole thing is prep space. If we take a look at the sink, you'll see the sink top cover itself is cutting board quality. You can just flip it over, use this as a cutting board. That way the one side uh, here stays nice looking. And when we take that off, that will reveal your single bowl, very large stainless steel sink there with the high rise faucet here as well. The great thing about having big countertops, folks, means you get big storage underneath. And let me show you. Starting off right over here, as soon as you walk in, you'll see this storage right here. Nice big storage area. For myself, I'd probably put pots and pans in there. Or maybe if you want to, you know, throw some shoes in there, you could use that for shoe storage as well. Coming around to the side here, we'll open it up. You have access to that same storage right up top. And underneath, you have two full extension drawers there, which you have to have. I mean, it's not a functioning kitchen without drawers because you have to have a place in which you can put your silverware. And then coming around to the front side here, once again, more storage there. So as I mentioned, lots of great storage right around the sink. And then you also have this nice piece right over here, which makes for a great pantry space. Or again, if you didn't put your pots and pans over there, you can certainly put them here. The cooktop is recessed and has the glass cover. This just folds up and back, which also doubles as a backsplash, which is great. Uh, but again, three burners. The front one is high output. And then you have an oven underneath in case you want to do some baking. If we take a look up top here, you'll see you have storage right over there. Next to that is your microwave with a hood underneath and then additional storage right here. As far as electrical outlets, you'll have one right under here and then another one over on the other side. So a couple different places in which you can plug in appliances and then LEDs brighten this space up at night. We'll make a little, our way a little bit further back here. You get into the refrigerator freezer combo. It is a Dometic unit. This unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switch over. Right here in the back, as I mentioned, this is a bunk in the industry. This is what we call a double over double, meaning it's a double wide bunk on both the top and bottom. Teddy Bear Bunk Series, nice thick bunks too. Take a look at that mattress. You know, a lot of manufacturers don't do that. It's super thin, not the case here. This does allow for, uh, you know, a comfortable night's sleep. And if we lift up this bottom space, you will see they give you some uh, access to storage right underneath there. It's not the easiest to get to, but at least they did uh, give you the finger hole there, so you are able to utilize that. And again, the double wide bunks, as I mentioned, perfect. If you have two kids or need to sleep an adult here, you can do that. You have windows in both the back of the bunks as well as on the side, so it lets a lot of natural light in, and they open up, so that way you can get good cross ventilation. On the back walls, you'll see you have electrical outlets in case you need to plug in some electronics. And then on the other side here, you have little cutouts, little cubby holes. So, you know, if the kids need a place to charge their cell phone or put a book, something like that, you have the space in which you can do so. Right here in the back is the bathroom. As I walk in, you see the toilet. Plenty of space here. You know, I'm a pretty, pretty wide guy up top. I still have enough room. Plenty of leg room there as well. Over to the side is the tub shower. You'll notice you have the hand wand here as well as shelves in the corner. And then a skylight there up top. Uh, as far as space, I'll step in here for you. I'm six foot, as you can see, you know, I just barely skim underneath here, but you do have an extra inch or two thanks to the vent. But if you're 6'3", 6 6'4", 6 you probably will have to hunch over in here. Making your way over to the side, you have a mirrored medicine cabinet, storage behind that, as well as an additional cubby hole right down underneath. You see the sink top here, you have an electrical outlet to plug stuff in, and pretty good storage right down underneath. As we step back out into the main living area, you can take a look right here. And this is something I really enjoy because it's a very versatile storage space. You have a hanging rod going across the top. So if you want to hang your kids clothes in here, great, you can do that. You want to have folded clothes in here, you can do that too. Want to remove a shelf? Sure. All these, all you have to do is just pull them right out. You don't have to unscrew anything. It makes it super easy. Or if you want additional pantry space, you can use it for that as well. So uh, it really depends on your camping situation. If you're taking the kids, you need the clothes, or if you just need the extra food space. And then right here is our slide-out U-Dinette. And folks, I love having a U-Dinette. 
because this way it gives space for the family to be able to sit around. You can eat a meal together, play a game together. Uh, it's a nice big table here as well. So you can you know, easily fit four plates around here. You're not all crowded in and you have a lot more elbow room in the U dinette. The other great thing about this is it makes a nice large bed. So if you uh, need the additional sleeping space, all you have to do is remove these two poles here. The table will drop down, sit along these rails, take your back cushions, put them on top, and this creates a bed that's large enough for two adults to comfortably sleep on. On both sides, you also have easy access to storage. Take a look at that. Just open up a door and you are in. Now, if it's a rainy day, maybe you want to watch some TV. No worries. Right here is your entertainment center, TV front and center. This one is on a swing arm, so if you need to swing it out toward the kitchen, you can do that, or toward the uh, dinette, you can do that as well. Right down underneath is your multimedia center. This unit is not only a radio and CD player, but it's also a DVD player. So if you want to watch a movie, great, toss it on in. You have storage underneath, as well as storage up top. You'll see you kind of have a neat design on the glass here. It's frosted behind that, but good storage there. While we're taking a look at the ceiling, you'll also notice you have a ducted AC in this RV. The AC does have a quick dump, so you can open this up, have all the cool air drop right in here. And you have your ducted furnace as well. The great thing about the heat in here, folks, it is a 30,000 BTU furnace. So if you want to make sure you're nice and toasty in the cold season, this one will certainly do that for you. One of the things you'll notice when you step into the bedroom here is the fact you have actual slider doors rather than curtains. Even though this is a lightweight RV, you know, I like having the doors because it is a bunk model. You know, they weigh a little more, but the added privacy is certainly worth it. You'll also see that when you close both doors, you do have spot to mount a TV right there. So that way you can watch TV before you go to bed. You have the RV Queen right here. And on both sides, you have a nightstand. The one side, you'll see you actually have a dirty clothes hamper there as well, which is great. Just toss a clothes basket down in the uh, pass-through. When you're done, of course, throw the clothes right in there. It is super convenient. That way you're not cluttering up your bedroom. Right above that, you have mirrored wardrobe with a hanging rod. You'll have that on both sides. Then going across the top, again, you have that cool glass. And as you can see, you have storage going the full length. Now that we've seen the insides, take a look at some of the outside features on the Bullet 243 BHS. Starting off right up front, folks, they give you a power tongue jack. This is awesome. Makes it super easy to connect and disconnect from your tow vehicle. As you'll see, you have a switch here. Just flip that to raise and lower the tongue. Then you also have a light in case you're hooking up or disconnecting at night. Directly behind that are your two 20-pound propane tanks with the cover. Undo the thumb screws, lift up the door, and you have access to those tanks. Back a little bit further, you see the rails for your battery. In fact, we have one on there with the box. And as you'll notice, you have enough room if you want to fit two batteries on this RV, you can do that. If you take a look over to this side there, you'll also see this one has solar prep. So if you're planning on doing some boondocking and you just want to recharge the batteries a little, not a problem. Just buy that portable solar panel, plug it in, and it will trickle charge your batteries for you. Coming up the front here, you have the kind of diamond etched front plate there, which is great. It helps protect your front end from some of the rocks and debris that get thrown up by your tow vehicle. And then above that, you have kind of a three-quarter front cap here. Uh, you know, it doesn't truly wrap around, but it still looks amazing, and it's nice and easy to clean. So if you get bugs and stuff smashed on there, uh, you know, it's just, a, again, quite simple to clean. Very aggressive looking. You'll also see the LED lights up front, which, again, you know, helps with the aesthetics of the RV. Plus, it may help you find the RV at night, too. Coming around to the side, the pass-through storage. You have a covered hinge on here, so that way it's not rusting out on you. It is a slam latch, so super simple and easy to use. It's also magnetic, which I really like, especially in a bunk model, because folks, especially if you have little ones, right? They're running through, they're not even thinking about it. They want to shut it, they just slam it down. If you have little plastic clips, a lot of times they'll break them right off. So it's great that it is a slam latch. And take a look at the thickness of that door too. You know, that's something else. When you're looking at uh, how an RV is made, you can see the pass-through is a nice thick door. Compared to a lot of them, they're about half that thickness. If we take a look inside, you'll see here it's an open pass-through. You have the wide door on both the door side as well as the off door side. So anything you put in here, you can get out from either side. And then you'll see the aluminum frame in there as well, as this is all aluminum. Making our way back there. You have a large power awning. Just touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to have it roll right back in. And you have an LED light strip so you have light at night. 
Getting into the RV is simple. You have three foldable steps here. You can see how nice and low the first one is. So if you have bad knees, you're not gonna hurt yourself getting in and out of here. Plus they have the foldable grab handle here for excellent control. You see the little sticker there? As I mentioned inside, this one has that 30,000 BTU furnace, which is great. If you like to watch TV outside, they actually put a backer right here so you know exactly where to mount that TV. Uh, so that's a great feature to have there as well. Your connections forward a little bit further, so you will have to have some decently long cables. But you can see right there is your cable outlet as well as the electrical outlet too. Now bear in mind, even if you don't have an outside TV, folks, you can obviously plug anything else in there. It's always a, a great feature to have, uh, you know, the outside electrical outlet there. Take a look down below, you'll notice a couple things. Aluminum alloy wheels. Boy, those sure do look nice and they will continue to look nice because uh, the aluminum won't rust. So definitely a great feature to have. You'll also notice how far spread apart they are. That's because this has widespread axles, which isn't great when you're towing down the road because it helps prevent some of the sway, giving you an overall better tow experience. Right back here is the outside kitchen. If we take a look in here, you have storage right up top, so a great place. You want to put some paper plates, solo cups, things like that up there. Pull this out. This is your cooktop right here. Open it up. There's your two burner. Even if you don't use this, you know, you can still use this as prep space or whatever else there. By all means, you can do that. And you have the fridge right next door. So this is probably my favorite part of having an outside kitchen here. You have plenty of space there for some condiments, you know, some other beverages, pop and things for the kids, some juice boxes, whatever you want to put in there. Now, if we take a look underneath, you will see right back here is your propane quick connect. So that way, if you, uh, you know, want to hook up a grill or something, you can do that. Or again, if you're hooking up your cooktop, that is where you'll hook it up to. Speaking of grill, you'll see right here, it has a arm mount for it. So that way you can just undo this pin, swing it around, and you can be grill master of the campground. You also have an outside spray port. That's that little hose was we saw in the outside kitchen. So if you need water access, you can hook it up right there. Take a look over here. This is our spare tire, folks. Hopefully you never have to use it, but in the event that you do, it's great knowing that it's riding right back here for you. And it's probably one of the easiest places to get at being mounted on the bumper. The bumper itself is your square tubular bumper with the end caps. You can pull these off, which gives you a great storage space for your sewer hose. Cable inlet is tucked away right up here. And if you sneak back with me right here, you'll see a couple other things. You have black tank flush here. That's great. Rather than having to drag a hose through the RV and sticking it down the toilet to wash out your black tank, screw it in right there. That has sprayers built in the black tank and it does the rest for you. Right here's your 30 amp detachable power cord and directly underneath that is your outside shower with both hot and cold water access. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2018 Keystone Bullet 243 BHS. If you're interested in this travel trailer and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description below. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker and let's go camping.